Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Carol Stacy, a docent at the Meadows Museum, and today we'll be taking a look at Open Air School by Diego Rivera. Open Air School is a small piece, 15 inches by 22 inches, printed on paper in black and white. It is from Mexico from the year 1932. Look at the picture for a moment, the people, what they're doing, their age, the background, while we talk about the artist. Diego Rivera was born in 1886 in Mexico, in Guanajuato, the capital of the state of Guanajuato, about 175 miles northwest of Mexico City. Later, he studied art in Mexico City, and in 1907, he won a prestigious government scholarship to study in Europe. He went first to Madrid, then to Paris, where he was a friend of Pablo Picasso and painted in the Cubist style. The Meadows has a Cubist portrait of the Russian writer Ilya Edinburgh, which Diego painted in Paris. After years in Paris, he went to Italy to study fresco painting. Then he returned to Mexico City after the Mexican Revolution at the invitation of José Vasconcelos, the new Minister of Education. The Mexican Revolution began in 1910 and ended in 1917, years which Diego spent in Europe. Vasconcelos invited Diego to paint the walls of the new Ministry of Education, called the SEP, S-E-P, which is the abbreviation of its Spanish name, the Secretaría de Educación Pública, with murals that showed Mexicans something of their history and to instill a national pride with monumental public art. Diego Rivera based this lithograph on one of his early SEP murals, painted in 1923, called The Rural Teacher. In both the mural and the lithograph, a young woman is seated outside with a circle of students around her. But look at the students. There are some children, but there are adults and even an old man with white hair in the foreground. Who are these people? Both the teacher and her students have indigenous facial features. A girl has the long braid typical of the indigenous, and the clothing is typical of the rural workers of southern Mexico. We see clearly only two or three faces of the people. Diego said that he did not draw the human face and well and places figures so that we see the back of the head or the profile. In the background, men in the same white working clothes are plowing in the fields, and there is a man on horseback with a rifle in his arms. His face is in shadow. The mural was painted in colors, in tones of ochres and gray black, but our lithograph is in black and white. Both the lithograph and the mural include the armed figure, providing a sense of danger that contrasts with the stable circle of students and teacher. Who is this man? Is he a threat, or is he protecting the teacher and her students? This is narrative art, for Diego is telling us a story. The backstory that Diego chose is a part of modern Mexican history. Before the revolution started in 1910, the workers, mostly indigenous, were illiterate. The wealthy landowners wanted to keep it that way, treating them very poorly, and they felt that teaching them to read and write would make them want to waste their time reading and learning rather than working in the fields. José Vasconcelos, the Minister of Education after the Revolution, recruited a group of young teachers and started a literacy campaign, sending them out into the rural areas. The landowners, however, had some of the teachers killed, so the Mexican government sent soldiers into the fields to protect the young indigenous workers and their students. So now we know that the man with the rifle is protecting the teacher and the learners. The literacy campaign was successful. Before 1910, about 10% 10 of the population was literate. By 1940, that number had risen to 37%. When Diego painted the mural, however, the literacy campaign was still in process, still in doubt. By 1932, when this lithograph was produced, the campaign was being considered successful. This lithograph commemorates the young women who risked their lives to teach the very poor indigenous people to read and to have higher aspiration, and it honors Jose Vasconcelos for his vision of literacy. Vasconcelos had a plan to unite Mexico using mural art and using literacy to bring the different social classes into one culture. And Diego Rivera captures that moment in this lithograph. Thank you for listening. Plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.